Oh, sorry about that. Okay, um, on this video, I'm gonna talk about the third album by by Outcast called Aquemini. Um, Aquemini, which was released September 29th, 1988, and like um, on, on LaFace Records, of course, and like um, no, notice the, notice the um, the title Aquemini. It, it's basically a, a combination of 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 both um bo both of uh, both guys um. Uh, Zodiac signs like Big the rapper Big Boy who's an Aquarius and Andre 3000 who's a Gemini. Okay, uh, this and it, it's also this also uh, that title is also in a recurring theme uh, of the different personalities because the, the uh, Andre 3000 and a Big Boy bo bo uh, both of these bo these two dudes uh, were like uh, like a, the total contrast. They they uh, they differed in personalities and styles, which made them unique. Okay, of course, uh, like with uh, with Big Boy, with his play, with his talk about being a player, a pimp, a pimping, and uh, and women, and Andre 3000 who talked about science, a uh, new age stuff, and a uh, and a uh, and neo neo essentialism, and centrism, like uh, he, uh, but basically he um he that's that's what made them st stand out like that. Okay, of course this uh, this album, uh, which uh, which featured the the. Uh, this album was a certified platinum after the two months of this release and like with songs like rosa parks screw it on the barbie and um the art of storytelling it it, it made them st stand out and of course right around this time right around this time um what's the name um like uh, andre 3000 he, he was still with erica badu and erica badu gave birth to his first child named seven who's now 21 but like a like a this is a, t a total 360 or a total uh, uh, this is a total 360 compared to that previous release uh at aliens like every album they put out it's like they reinvented themselves they um made themselves be something that completely different compared to the previous uh previous uh out outcome uh, I, I, and like this album right here was no no exception okay uh, like uh like the lyrically, it's a lyrically much of a criminal features introspection about the desolation of the human condition, uh, overreaching themes addressed on record, including drug addictions, uh, precarious relationships, and self inflicted struggles. And like, uh, other, other subjects talk about uh, t technology and the Atlantic club scene, uh, but like, it, it was like it, it was a combination of science fiction and the urban life. And like um that 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 type of that type of approach never has been a, never been reached before. Uh, like um when it like uh, when, like uh, when it talks about like Big Boy talking about his um uh, uh, his uh about his childhood and in the South and attract and attractive women, while uh, <coughs> Andre 3000 discuss unorthodox themes. And like um the what uh, the, the approach and the feel and the vibe of this whole album uh, just puts you in that vibe. Like songs like Synthesizer featuring George Clinton, uh, which uh, which totally fits the, the the theme of this album. And uh, of course, the title track Equimini. But my favorite song on here is Rosa Parks, uh, which uh, which they later caught flag from uh, by, by by the real Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks. Uh, Who's a civil rights activist, uh, um, who, uh, who, uh, who, uh, who started the bus, who started the boycott by refusing to give up a seat to a white man, and like the, the theme of the song, to like, to everybody moving to the back of the bus, and like uh, that, that uh, it was it was themed around that, but like they 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 uh they they stirred up a lot of controversy with that with that that title alone. And like uh, the real Rosa Parks didn't want to be associated with such, uh, w with that song because of its lyrical content, which uh, which is uh, quite obvious. And then songs like "Screw It on the Barbie," which they sample from the uh, this uh, from the which they sample the beat from uh, from the '70s song called uh, 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 which is uh, a sample from the, the Police Woman theme song, and it featured Raekwon from the Wu Tang Clan. And like uh, during this time. This is when a, this is when a southern rap was starting to, was starting to get a get a slow steady rise, and like uh, if you were the rapper from the south, no no like uh, I was a, when I first heard this song I was surprised to hear Raekwon on her because Raekwon, like back then when New York was still running things, like uh, a New York rapper wouldn't be caught dead, uh, rapping on on a southern southern rapper uh, 
some of the rappers track, even though there was a few who were doing it, like like Fat Joe or Big Pun or somebody else who I never I can't remember or Nas. The vast majority of of, of rappers are from the east when when trying when for, uh, messing with a when messing with a southern rappers like that, and then like especially with songs like um like uh the art of storytelling like uh, like uh, that, that's the third track off of this album, but like the like uh, on the 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 radio version it it features it features Slick Rick, but Slick Rick is not not Slick Rick is not on the, not on this album. Like I like the art of storyteller part one or two, like uh like uh, like it was song I like the song like uh I like I like the feel and the vibe of that song that 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 um eerie pimpish type of feel to it and like uh like they they're, they're talking about like of course in that song uh big boy's talking about this woman named Susie Screw and then like uh what's the name talk about uh. Uh, Andre 3000 uh, mentions a girl named Sasha Thump that he grew up with that later died of a drug overdose. But like they, I, I really wish they put a, they could have put a a slick Rick in this song like like they did on the regular on the radio version. But like um, th that's one of my favorite songs on her. Like the, the, a storytelling, skew it on the barbe, and especially Rosa Parks. That beat alone is fire and it, it puts you in that vibe and like of course and then there's songs like nathaniel uh nathaniel which is a which is a skit uh, uh one of their friends who was locked up he, uh, he he's rapping he's rapping uh on a collect call freestyle on a collect call what they call that fire through the wire and like they they uh they they uh they uh they once displayed that type of uh, that type of a uh, freestyling, but people dudes who locked up freestyling behind a prison cell, and like uh, that, 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 uh, that uh, basically what uh, what that song Nathaniel about, and then songs like Liberation they they did with CeeLo and Chunky Fire, it it pushed it put this uh it it pushed them in, in your in, in, the, in that uh in this ver the version of this whole album this this feel this essence it just makes you feel a certain type of way, and I that's what I like about albums like this. I really like this is this is no doubt a hip hop classic, but like uh do do uh, like uh, the album that, but my my favorite album in my opinion my favorite album is the one that that followed this which is Stank On You which I will also do a, a um a album review on this is a, a this is without a doubt a bona fide hip hop classic. Oh, from a scale of one to ten, I give this an eight point five. From a scale of one to twenty, I give it a nineteen. All right.